My desk right now is in a complete mess. Anyways, yo, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over some more Borderlands news. Uh, I haven't done a Borderlands video and geez, I don't even know how long. Like literally forever. But anyways, we got an announcement on the 6th DLC and uh, release date. And the release date actually is March 18th. So set, set your uh, set your notifications on those calendars, baby, because we are going to be streaming when it comes out on March 18th. Uh, maybe I'm thinking about doing a charity event for it. Maybe I haven't done one in a while, so why not? Uh, no, I'll, I'll decide. But. Yeah, probably. Just before this video starts, please be sure to leave a like as it also does help this channel grow. And subscribe if you are new for more content like this and other gaming content such as Call of Duty, Astroneer, and Minecraft. I've actually uploaded a Minecraft video on Monday. Go check that out if you would love to do so and leave a like because I love you. And anyways, we're gonna be talking about DLC 6 for Borderlands 3. DLC 5 was called a designer's cut, right? Offered us new legendaries, crazy new legendaries. It offered us arms race, brought back Salvador and Axon. I mean, it's it was a fun DLC. I'm not gonna lie. It was it brought new new cosmetics and stuff like that. But now we got an even bigger DLC, in my opinion, called the Director's Cut, bringing more content throughout the rest of the year for even even for Borderlands 3. And I'm very very excited about it. So, anyways, first things first, we're gonna be going over this little art, this little uh, cover art for it, and it looks very awesome. I know a lot of people don't like Ava in the Borderlands community. But uh, she's a big part of this DLC. If you don't like it, don't buy it. But anyways, <laughs> Ava's on the cover. I'm going to be going over what she has to offer later on. And uh, the big Varkid in the back, that is the big thing about uh, this entire DLC. I'll get into that into a little bit, actually. I'm very excited about that one. Then we got our four Vault Hunters down on the bottom. Flax, Zane, Amar, and Moe's. Good on the artist for that one. But anyways, we're moving on to the actual notes itself. So first thing we're going to be going over is actually Vault Cards. Vault Cards are... It, to me, it sounds like a battle pass, but it might not be. Uh, we don't know what it is yet. I'm actually kind of excited for it. I'm just gonna be reading off of the website. I'm a terrible reader, so bear with me. Another exciting addition to the director's cut are some vault cards, three new challenge-based progression tracks that unlock a bevy of themed cosmetics, plus some, so Jeez, dude, I have like a headache right now and I'm horrible. Plus some supremely powerful gear that scales to your level, all managed via the new tab and the Echo device. The first of the three Volt cards will launch as a part of the Director's Cut featuring uh, some items that honor some of the uh, franchise's most beloved characters or fallen heroes. The remaining two Volt cards are scheduled to launch by the end of 2020. So it just sounds like little seasons, I guess. Uh, and I'm assuming with each Volt card, I'm gonna be going over all that stuff later, what I think, anyway. Anyways, yeah, it just it offers a sizable chunk of XP and it, it's a multi-tiered weekly challenge with three daily challenges. There's over a hundred unique challenges to pull from. So what uh, you never know where you're gonna get every day. You never know where you're gonna get every week. So that makes making guides a whole lot fun. You know, love it. To cover every single challenge, that's gonna be, it's gonna be a long video, maybe three-parter. So yeah, that's Vault Cards. It's, uh, it, to me, it does sound like a battle pass. It might not be, it might just be some cool things because we actually do have like a little progression system on the mini events, such as like the uh, Revenge of the Cartels, uh, the Valentine's Day one that's actually starting right now, and uh, the Halloween one, stuff like that. Uh, we have like challenge-based things that unlock certain loot. So, I mean, that's what it sounds like it's gonna be, but like on a bigger scale. Now moving on to the Ava part of this entire DLC. Ava's murder mysteries. So, uh, to me this sounds like pretty much a puzzle based, you're literally a detective, first of all, using clues and all of that to your advantage. It just, it just sounds like something that I would like. So I'm pretty excited for this one. Dude, like these lights are so bright, it's like, not even like, ugh, dude. So anyways, uh, Ava is convinced that she has a lead on some potentially supernatural slayings and she has decided to document her findings on a serial, serialized podcast form. Join her and other familiar faces in a gun tooting co-host for a series of new story missions that, that, that take place on Pandora, Promethea, Eden 6, and Necrodefeo's special guest, Randy Varnell, the head of Gearbox story group, returned for the Borderlands show and gave details about these new missions. Okay. That, that has nothing to do with the DLC, but he gave his details on the new missions apparently and I didn't watch the Borderlands show, so I'm here reading the notes right now. This isn't all running and gutting, though you can be expected to do that a lot. Again, there's a lot of puzzles involved and you'll be like, you have to stop sometimes and look at a crime scene and be like, oh, okay, put these clues together, take them down. I, I hope it's pretty on the difficult side because 
Again, this is the entire DLC pretty much, so it better be like arms race where I can keep playing it and pretty much be the same thing over and over again. Not be the same thing over and over again. Well, we'll see about that whenever it comes out. Includes a bounty of behind the scenes content from make, the making of Borderlands 3, including a gallery of full, full of concept art, storyboards, lost maps, footage from throughout the game's development. It's a fascinating glimpse on how Borderlands 3's beginnings and bloopers and cut content that shaped the game. So, uh, it, that's cool too. I might go over it, might not. I don't know, depending on how interesting it is. So anyways, what I'm very excited for. This is, this is the cherry on top of the cake and I am so excited. And I'm gonna explain why I'm excited and what I think in, in my head right now. Okay, here we go. Classic raids are coming back and the door is opening on Pandora in uh, Ascension Bluff actually. If you guys don't know what the door is, you know, read up on your door history right now because this thing has been locked and it's, it's on the map. You can see it. You can clearly see that it's on the map and there's something behind this door, but there is no way to get over there. You can use glitches to get over there, but nothing spawns behind the door. That's just literally just land. That's all it is. It looks like an arena of some sort, but now something is spawning behind that door and I am very excited because it is pretty much vermiferous. It sounds like if you know, if you guys played uh, Borderlands 2, vermiferous dropped the North Fleet and vermiferous was one of the hardest vault bosses, uh, not vault bosses, one of the hardest raid bosses in the game. Uh, First of all, even getting him to spawn was literally impossible. For those of you who started in Borderlands 3, you guys know raids as the takedowns, like the Malawan takedown or takedown of the Guardian Breach, and our raid bosses were Watten and the Invincible and Scourge the Invincible. If you play the other games, that's not how raids used to be, but now they're back. This one isn't Vermiferous, but it, it it's pretty much Vermiferous. It's a uh, Hemiferous, and uh, she is a Gargantuan Varkid, just like Vermiferous, uh, who dropped some of the best loot in the entire game, just like Vermiferous, provided that you can actually kill her. Obviously, these bosses are going to be ramped up and be absolutely destructive, so uh, I'm very excited for this, all this complete mayhem. To get inside this door locked on Pandora, uh, you're going to have to uh, pony up and pay 500 Uridium to even open the door to fight her. So pretty much you're paying 500 Uridium to lose, but provided that you can actually kill her, she drops the best loot in the game, uh, you're probably going to want to do it with a squad, and I'm very excited. Now onto my theory before about Vault cards and raid bosses these things are linked and i am telling you these things are linked there are three vault cards that are coming out throughout the rest of this year and there is only one raid boss there were a plethora of raid bosses in the other games especially borderlands 2 there are so many raid bosses in that game it's hard to count honestly some of the most notable was terramorphous and hyperius those two are ridiculous so what i think about the vault cards every single time a new vault card comes out a new raid boss is gonna come out and uh, because I feel I feel like these two are linked There was a plethora of raid bosses in the other game first of all We haven't had a raid since June of last year So I mean scourge is the most recent form of a raid and I want we want more raids people love the classic raids and spending your iridium We don't have any re like reason to spend our iridium we bought all the cosmetic stuff and we don't have anything else. That's it. We just, we just keep stockpiling every single time we kill Grave Ward or something. But I think these two are linked. Every single time a new Vault card comes out, a new Raid Boss will come out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please leave a like as it also does help this channel grow. Leave your thoughts down below about the Director's Cut if you think it's going to be better than the Designer's Cut or if you think it's going to be worse. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you are new for more content and uh, yeah love you guys and I'll see you guys later